So before I felt really suffocated, like I thought that I might never be able to become a doctor in the future because that's what I want to do. I was bullied in my primary, so I wasn't that confident. I lost all my um, self-confidence. There were girls in my um, class, in, in my class, um, they used to always tell me how I'm never going to be able to do what I want. I wasn't able to have the voice. I mean, everybody has a voice, but I wasn't able to express myself um, the way I wanted to. The shy version of me when I was younger, I was really shy, not even just in classrooms, just like in general, like when we would go visit like somebody's house, I wouldn't like say anything. So I was homeschooled for a few years, so I didn't really have any social experience. At first, I felt shy at, at start because I didn't really know how people would react. Either they would be like rude and laugh if I messed up. We knew we were delivering reading, writing and numeracy really well. I think there's an assumption that language acquisition comes naturally and we weren't having to necessarily, particularly in the secondary um, phase, we weren't having to focus on teaching OSC skills. And I think the need came when we realised actually children weren't able to communicate their ideas in groups or with the teacher. Prior to us using OSC as, as the whole school focus, our classrooms were very quiet but it had that feeling of sort of busy, happy, good lessons rather than perhaps probing dialogue, um, metacognition, really thinking about things and really being challenged at the higher levels. So we realised that really we needed to teach obviously skills in order to have an impact on their overall progress. So their future life chances, although they have aspirations, very often those aspirations stop when they leave school because they don't feel that they can go to university and have an interview or they don't feel that they can pursue certain careers because basically they don't have the confidence. In a classroom, you'll often find students physically moving around a lot more. They will move around a lot more to have more discussion or a debate. You'll see more regularly students challenging each other's ideas and concepts. So you see that that quality of discussion is ever increasing. So since working with Voice 21, we feel that that's really given a platform for the students to understand that they can approach uh, really challenging issues with optimism. The elements that we've worked on in Oracy has given them the framework to form what they want to say into, into the ways that it can be heard and listened to. I think the students that I would identify that it's really made a difference to are some of our girls in particular. The girls can be incredibly hard working, but that contribution and that confidence that comes with it is sometimes been lacking. Isa is a very quiet student, not someone I'd typically pick as someone that would be leading or is it? Actually, I started to see her week after week when I was doing the training with the champions, just constantly putting a hand up, having these really interesting things to say. So, you know, just that engagement and that confidence in wanting to be a part of this, to me, is something really special. It's helped me to boost up my confidence levels because at first I thought I couldn't speak but now that I'm doing more, obviously I feel like I have something more that I can say. Well, compared to three years ago when I moved here, my English has improved very, very much. Back then I couldn't even say like a word without messing up and now I can say like sentences. So I've come a long way. It makes me feel proud. I felt really small, really down, like I was in the small cage I couldn't get out of and I can explore the world now, it's just really good for me. In a word I would say I'm really happy now because I have confidence. Lily is a in-year admission last year, a uh, very daunting prospect for um, anybody. Since then she's really blossomed and I think Lily was able to take that confidence in what she'd gained during the um, Oracy Elements of Lessons outside and has made some really nice friendship groups and is doing very well. To me, Oracy is a way to express yourself and your opinions. In the future, I'd like to go to activism and that's very big on freedom of speech and opinions and arguments and debates. So for me, Oracy is vital for me to achieve my dream in the future. Just in terms of just everyday things like challenging if they want to take something back to a shop, they now feel more confident to do that. So it's not just about them pursuing education, it's just the general everyday things where they feel more able to, to, to speak and be heard and change things. These are the children of the future, aren't they? And that they need that vehicle to have their oracy developed. 
this is how they're going to go out into that workplace, their first impressions, their conversations. And it's really important that students understand that what they have to say deserves to be heard and is wanted to be heard. I guess it's just the real leveller, isn't it, of society that we're helping our students here uh, just access um, whatever their futures can be.